Hi friends, in this video we are going to talk about how to convert HTML files to PDF files using browser automation in Python. And for doing the browser automation in Python, we are going to use a Python module called Playwright which is often used for end-to-end -end testing using browser automation. You can see Playwright has a ton of features for browser automation and testing and we are going to use the print HTML page to PDF feature of Playwright for achieving HTML to PDF conversion. There is also a Python module called Selenium for browser automation and I already made a video on that to save a browser's window as a PNG file. You can check out that video and I will leave the link of that video in the description. But this time we are using Playwright for browser automation because the API is more simple and Playwright can use multiple browsers very easily. The documentation for Playwright is also very good. Alright, let's get started and install the Playwright Python module. So I'm going to take a command prompt and I'm going to write python minus m pip install pytest playwright. Alright, we've installed the playwright module. For playwright to execute browser automation, we need to install browsers in playwright. So let's try to do that now. For this example, we are going to do HTML to PDF conversion in a Chrome browser. So I'm going to write python minus m playwright install chromium. So now a chromium browser will be installed by playwright for performing the browser automation. If you want to install Firefox, Chromium and WebKit at once, you can just write python-m playwright install. If you want to install only WebKit, you can write python-m playwright install WebKit. If you want to install only Firefox, you can write playwright install Firefox. If you want to know what are the browsers that you can install with playwright, you can just write install minus minus help and you'll get the options for playwright browsers. You can install Chromium, Chrome, Chrome Beta, Message, etc. But for our example, Playwright install Chromium is sufficient. So alright, we have installed the Playwright Python module and the Playwright Chromium browser also. Now we are ready to perform browser automation using Playwright. Let's try to open a folder in VS Code. Let's try to create a new Python file and let's try to name it index.py. Alright, for this example, we have a folder called reports and in that reports folder, there is a salesreport.html file. Let's try to convert this HTML to PDF using Playwright. So for that, let's try to import the sync Playwright function. Let's try to open the HTML file in a browser. You see, this is the URL of the required HTML file. So you need to provide a URL like this to the Playwright browser, right? So first, let's try to derive the URL of the local HTML file. Using os.path.absolutePath, I can get the absolute path of the file. So now this would return something like seeing users, etc, etc. But still, it's not the URL that can be used in a browser. So to do that, I'm going to import the pathlib module and convert this absolute path into a URL using pathlib.path as URI and I'm going to input the absolute file path here. So I'm going to write pathlib.path absolute file path as URI and this will be the URL of the file that can be used in the Playwright browser. Alright, now we got the file URL. Now let's try to use Playwright browser to open this file and print it. So first I'm going to write with sync Playwright as p. Now let's create a browser instance p.chromium.launch and now a browser instance would be created. Let's try to open a new tab in this browser. So for that I'm going to say page equal to browser.new page. So a new tab of this browser can be present in this instance called page. And now let's try to open the HTML file in this browser tab. So for that I'm going to write page.go to file URL which is the URL which you have derived. Now the file is open in a playwright new tab. Let's try to print it now. So I'm going to write page.pdf and give the output path of the PDF file. So I'm going to write the output would be in report slash sales report dot PDF. And before printing the PDF, we also do page.emulate media as screen. So the results would be same as if you are printing in a browser. And after the printing is over, let's try to close the browser. So I'm going to say browser.close. So literally using some five, six lines, you can actually convert a HTML file into a PDF file. So let's try to save this and run this. So Playwright has generated a PDF in the reports folder. Let's try to open it now. Let's try to open the source HTML file. This was the HTML input file. And this is the PDF file created by Playwright. All right, let's give some printing options to this PDF function. The first thing I want to do is to make the print layout as A4 size paper. So I'm going to write format equal to A4. And the next thing I want to do is I wanted to print it in landscape so I'm going to write landscape equal to true and then I wanted to give some margin at the top so I'm going to write 
margin equal to a dictionary which says top as I want to give it 2 cm so I am going to write 2 cm. So now I have given some 3 extra printing options to play right while printing the PDF. So I am going to save this now and let's try to run this. Now let's try to see the PDF generated and you can see the output is in landscape mode now and we also got some margin at the top. So this way you can even customize the printing preferences before converting to PDF. So if you are using VS Code you can even see the options by hovering on it or you can just click F12 to see all the options in the documentation. You can even refer the Playwrights documentation to get to know what are the options for printing the PDF. You can see the units can be given like this that's why we have written 2 centimeters and then the format is basically the page size and then there are many other options like display header footer, header template, height, landscape, margin, paper range etc. So please refer the documentation to know how you can customize the PDF printing in Playwright. So that's it guys. This is how you can convert a HTML to PDF file using browser automation by the Playwright Python module. You can see I created a blog post on HTML to PDF conversion with Python using Playwright. I have given the notes and source code so that you can copy paste and practice it in your own computer. I have also given you references to the official documentation to do further reading. So please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. Please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.